day two. Those silly really kitty right now. Whew. Things are things are really funny right now. I I don't know why. so little sleep that everything is funny and I just drank like half a cup of sweet tea and oh my gosh I just it's keeping me awake because it had so much sugar and caffeine in it but it's also making me more giddy <laughs> Okay, um, other than me being, like, really spacey and <laughs> finding things really, really funny right now, um, <laughs> I'm going out of my mind. <laughs> I, uh, don't really have anything to talk about except, um, I have some new books that I'm going to probably talk about um, on the channel, do a book review. Let me grab a, my first one. Um, yeah, grabbing it. Slow it grabbing, sorry. It is called Rainbow Party, and it's by Paul Ruditus, 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 Something like that. Um, okay, I can't pick it up. It's too heavy. I mean, it's not a very heavy book, but I'm weak, so, you know, it's heavy for me. Um, but, basically, it is, the reason I'm reading it is because, um, in some uh, health classes in public schools, they're reading this novel, um, as a required reading for their health class, um, and I want to know why, because this, this is a novel about a sex party, so I want to know why we're letting our younger generations read this in health class in in public school um and not 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 necessarily while we're letting them while we're requiring them to read it now i i for one don't believe in censoring books i believe that if um somebody wants to read something they should be able to read it but I don't believe in forcing people to read things that they might be uncomfortable with. And this this is a book about a sex party that a bunch of high schoolers put together. And I know that when I was in high school, I would have felt really uncomfortable reading that. So, so that's why I'm reading it uh, now. Um, and I'm going to do short reviews on it chapter by chapter or maybe large section by large section because um, they kind of all flow together but that's the plan give my review and my thoughts on it um, and also I'm, I'm wondering who thought it would be a good idea to require uh, high school students to read a book about high schoolers giving a sex party. Um, because to me that seems like a bad idea if you're already having a, a problem with promiscuity in the high school uh, setting or, you know, that age group then why provide them with propaganda 
showing them people their own age having lots of wild sex. To me, it seems like giving people an idea. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, it's obviously been chosen as an educational book um, in some high schools. So um, that's, that's why I'm reading it, to see why it's um, recommended and often required in high schools. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. This video is getting really, really long, and I'm sorry. I'm trying to cut down my video lengths uh, to shorter. So, sorry about that. Um, but that's it. Look forward to a book review. Um, also, I need to do some editing for the Life in a Day thing. So, you'll see that on my uh, other channel, which you can see over there. Um, actually, yeah, over there. You'll see that. Alright, so that is it. Goodbye, y'all. Peace and love. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you have an uh, um, opinion on Rainbow Party or on requiring a book like it in high school, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what you guys think about this uh, interesting subject, and um, I'd love to discuss it with you. All right, so peace and love. Bye, you guys. After look of silly faces. Okay, bye.